Okay. This is Kapal's Corner, Season 5, Episode 12, Take 1. Well, welcome back to Kapal's Corner, where the beers are cold and the purples are warmer. Head up to the creek in my truck if you want to hop on this bed to smooth the cooler over. Look at that official. Good, official, like that? eh? That's pretty good, Ben. Oh, ho, ho. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Christmas. Happy holidays. You also, Ben. Wow. It is good to have you on the set here. Well, good to, you know, we always talk Mets, about it. Mets, Kapal, well, it's Ida Boys, right? That's the thing. You got born, it. Born you and raised. It. I mean, technically I'm raised in Ville, but we're, we're, yeah. who, 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 who's really Close counting? neighbors. What the heck? <laughs> Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of Kapal's Corner. I'm your host, Benny Kapal. With me today, I have Paul Metz. Paul, we're going to talk a little bit, as you know, this season's all about Ida. It's all about where we were born, where we were raised, and you have done a lot in Ida. Yeah. In your, what, 32 years now? What, what are you uh, approaching? Approaching? Uh, well, 40? Yeah, well, that's very polite of you, but it's 64. Well, you know, 64. 64 born years, and just a couple of rotations around yep, the sun. Yeah, born and raised um, here. A couple of rotations around the crops, right? Let's, yep. let's put Ida. So let's, let's start it. So you were born and raised on a dairy farm. Yep. In Ida. Yep. And so you did that growing up. I'm sure you had fun chores and everything. Oh, yeah. Yep. John Metz and Sons. Cows, cows take precedence over uh, um, everything else. 724, um, Dad always said. How long did you, how long were you part of the, the, the dairy farm? Uh, let's see. Well, all the way until I was 21, basically. Okay. Um, and then uh, in 1981... Dad sold the cows, and then I went to work for Lake Erie Medical and Surgical Supplies. So I can say I never had to collect a dime on unemployment because we sold the cows on, just went right on to Saturdays and jumped in the went car. to work on, on Monday morning through through uh, my wife's uh, cousins that owned. Uh, and you did, and you did, and you did the um, the medical field. You were in that for. 36 years. 36 years driving, yep. setting up uh, Set, medical equipment. Yep. And Did all their service work for them, <clears throat> along with, uh, I think I had 32 years of catering and 45 years of butchering, which... Oh, yes, that's right. I, which I just retired from both of them here last year. I thought, well... <laughs> I was going to say, some, uh, a lot of Ida has gotten their yep. deers processed through you one way or another, yep. not to mention all the weddings and ceremonies yep. that you've had to, uh, yep. Yep. graduation parties. and We've done a lot of the young kids that came up through Ida and oh so on gosh. and so forth, their parents. Now, their the kids and their kids. So. Their kids, yep. But I wanted to talk to you more about um, the, the, the things you've done for the community. First of all, you were a volunteer fireman, so let's talk about that a little bit. When did you start volunteer fireman, and how did you get to the chief at one started, point? Uh, started in 1992. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I, I, would, I was one of them that uh, liked to chase the fire trucks type of deal. So when you when you got out there, of course, a lot of my friend, buddies were on the fire department. They'd say, Metsy, come on, get over here, mm. grab this and do that and that. Back then, you could go and grab a hose, help out, do whatever <laughs> right. you want. Right. All the regulations and everything. I don't think I, don't think I could do that nowadays. Yeah, I don't think no, I could, it did, uh, didn't work that way. That. So I had Jeff Canabush. We were getting ready to go up steelhead fishing, and he was up at the fire hall. So I walked in there, and Don Horvath looked at me and goes, well, you're just over here on Derby Road, aren't you? I said, yeah. So he hands me <laughs> you know this piece, he hands me this piece you of paper. He says, here, fill going. this out yep. and come on back and talk to me. So I did, and, and that was in uh, May of 92. And by June June of 92, they put me on as a probationary. And from there to 2015, uh, 2016, uh, and the last 11 of my was fire chief. So oh, we man. worked up up the ranks up through that way and had a lot of had a lot of the old one, Dean Zorn and Bill Guyman, Randy Staniford, uh, all those guys that uh, Troy Stein, Ed Wurtenberger, the mm. one I actually uh, took over for. Uh, a hell of a bunch of group of guys. Well, so, be, and dedicated. On behalf of Ida, like I, I really appreciate you putting the time to do that. Yeah. Saved yeah. a lot of people's lives and and helped out just. A lot of people that couldn't get out, couldn't, couldn't get out of their houses and all that, and yeah. it's really appreciated, And especially when you're volunteering time yeah. to do it. The, yeah. This wasn't a paid position by any means, form, or shape. 
Nope, nope. Actually, uh, when I uh, when I retired as fire chief, that's when all the younger guys were wanting to be paid on calls, and it, it is a sign of the times too. I mean, the the state requirements and everything like that were requiring more time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Classes. I, I can remember when I went to firefighter. At that time, it was fire. You took firefighter one first, then you took firefighter two, and I think the the year of 1992, I had almost. So while it fell into 93, I think I counted, I had 360 hours worth of classroom time. Whoa, whoa, that's so, a lot of time. Yeah, and you know, as it being a student, you know what that consists yeah, of. So uh, that went, for, like I said, learning to be a fireman and then went into the, for being an EMT in school and so on. Oh, so yeah, forth. well, and also being uh, a husband, father, yep. uh, also working full time. Yep. Yep. You had plenty of time to do yeah. all those things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, there were some nights that going like I get home and everybody look at me like, who are you? <laughs> you know, and I, I, you know, I think that's, <clears throat> that's something that should be cherished is, you know, I, I was raised and I, I would assume you could say the same thing that you, you put time into your, your community. Yep. Um, and yep. It's just something you do. It's not, um, it's not something you, you want praise for, you get paid for. It's just something you do to help out. So, I, yeah, yet again, appreciate that. But then you said, you know, I'm, I'm done firemaning. I'm going to hang up my, my fire chief hat, and I'm going to be a politician. Yeah, that's you step into one fire and go you into go another. Right in the <laughs> so it's, you, it's one of those things. It's, my dad, my mom would always, when dad would leave the house, he, mom would go, don't you dare say yes to another seat. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, unfortunately, I think it rubbed off because every time I go to somewhere or I go to a meeting, I, I end up being one of the officers. Or yeah, <laughs> right. And then you end up in yeah. So you are you are a townships commissioner. Yep. You've been commissioner now for. Uh, this will be my eighth <laughs> year supervisor. Uh, so four, yeah, twenty 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 four will be eight years. It, as, and as supervisor. I'm yeah. still waiting on the key to the city. Yeah. <laughs> Well, move into it, and we'll see what we can do. Oh, oh you're on that. Oh, that's right. Wait you're a second. Razorville. Wait a second. My mailbox is on the other side of the street, so technically, <laughs> yeah. Well, you I got a mailbox. Yeah, there. we could do. Yeah, we could. You're close. Like, honorary ID. Yeah, there you go. Honorary. Honorary. <laughs> there you go. We can do that. I, I haven't been serving this community forever. By the way, no, no. So, you know, you start as a dairy farmer. You go into the medical field. Then you become a fireman. You're 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 doing the. Uh, all, all the deer processing and you're and you're helping out and you're doing the the uh, the ceremonies with the the catering and all that and then you decide you want to go into that it's just I mean do you have any aspirations to do more is this kind of where well, the, and you help us out at the funeral home. Well, yeah well yeah the, so number six I job. Mean, well <laughs> yeah. no, uh, no I think I would stay local because I you start getting up higher and and you got to be a little bit more BS. You still than got I some am. hair, right? Yeah, you don't want to lose that. You don't want to lose what you got, right? <laughs> no, I, I I like the lower levels because then because I can interact with the people I know that I've grown up with and the farmers that we've dealt with and that my dad has known and brothers have known. Um, I, I think you can do more at a lower level than you can at the upper level because up there, everybody you know when they run for office, oh, I, I'll get this all done. Yeah, yeah, you can work on something like mm-hmm. that, but you got to realize there. What do you got? Two hundred and thirty-six people of senators, congressmen. You, you can help one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can put a vote in uh, and, and on one, but this way, this way, you're. I don't know. I I just like that local. Oh, absolutely. Always been a local boy. So. Yeah, well, I I know that feeling. Um. So from all of us at Ida, thank you for for oh, putting in your civic right. civic duties yeah. for a lot of things and. Um, all of you out there have a wonderful holiday have a great new year and this is Benny Kapal it's been a wonderful Kapal's Corner Paul Metz happy holidays have a great one (laughs) we're good guys 